Everybody looks at it, nobody buys it, 10 bucks. And it looks like a little red, don't it? Like, or yeah, not. it has a big stain in there, that's why. Oh, that's why? Oh, okay. Oh, that's yeah, probably... it's a blood stain. Yeah, blood stain. <laughs> blood stain? That looks like blood. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Someone got shot and stabbed in the neck. All right. It's cool stained glass piece. California perfume. These actually do pretty well, but it's too big. I don't want to deal with it. Hmm. Whatever you understand, glass pieces. 25, 25, 30. Starting at 100, but I'll talk about it. Okay. Is there any chips or damages to it nope. all? Not a thing. 100 bucks, huh? Yeah, that's a nice piece. It is a nice piece. One of the better ones I've seen. Probably the best. Yeah. And what do you have on this? Barometer? Yeah. 20. 20? Like I'm in a junkyard. <laughs> what is this? Through real friends. Cool piece. <laughs> they put big wheels on the uh <laughs> Yeah, my friend made that. He, <laughs> he is a genius. That's cool. Like that. What are you asking for that? 35. 35? Yeah, I was in the States. That's crazy. Always keep a lookout for these small TVs. Anything 20 inches or smaller they can actually bring really good money people buy them for retro gaming and they can usually bring between 75 and 150 bucks i decided to pass on these because i didn't feel like carrying it back to my car it's fresh but it's frozen oh man you guys got a bar here and everything my first time here this is nice hey, hey how you doing today? good man Five bucks on a box. Box. We'll do the whole box of all the boxes for twenty-five. Twenty-five bucks for everything. Mm -hmm. For everything, twenty-five dollars. I Google them, and there's certain guys in there that are worth money and stuff yeah. like that. We got more cards down here. There's four. Okay. Plenty of crap inside. <laughs> all right. Well, I'll look at all the crap inside then. Yeah, there's plenty of stuff. Yeah. Yes, it is. <laughs> Go birds. Wendy peppercorn. <laughs> what you, so just those three cards from Sandlot the movie three bucks three okay bucks. dollar piece I'll do that how about, how, okay. oh yeah that's okay, okay. very good thank you a single no. oh no no, no so that's, that's, that's mine just a five. three 
This is yeah, yours. That's yours. That's this it. is mine. Correct. I, I got a single if you need it. I'll give it to you. No, no, we got it. We, we, okay. we, we did good, that brother. Thank what you. What do you have on the uh, old photos? The tin type, I would do two for five. Okay. I think I got it. I could do three for five. I think there's three left. Three here. there? Real okay. Yeah. What, are, what are these ones then? This I really don't know. I just got all those photos in like at auction just recently. I really didn't what, uh, what do you much. want for a lot of them? Ten bucks, I'll give them to you. Ten right? bucks for the whole lot? For everything. I'll throw the tin type in. If you want the postcard, I just can't have them out. You got a bag? Sure, brother. I got a bag. I'll give you ten bucks for them all. I love these tin ones. Definitely old. But yes, for, for but everything I try to get that, that I throw out here is I try to get the antiques in all in one area. But, but if you did good, and if you Google them, that you'll see that they go for uh, right. only, you know, just a uh, Give me my ten bucks back. <laughs> Damn it, you! <laughs> my ten dollar bill. <laughs> you can't get rid of that one. Right? Uh, I just wanted them to keep know. coming back. They it's, said a bad yeah, penny. It's, <laughs> it's a bad you. penny, Bless man. You, my brother. Yeah, no, thank Thanks you. Thanks for looking at me. Yeah, man. You got any other cool stuff like that? Don't really know what I got around here because we get so much stuff in. We're still getting into cool. bins and stuff. Do you buy a storage unit or just auctions? Yeah, uh, we got we, we do uh, no. storage units, uh, auctions, whatever we could get. Costume jewelry, I do real well with, so I get all this stuff, you know. Yeah. Like he'll say, here, here, give me twenty bucks, and you know, and it's a bin like this, and I find like Mickey Mouse watches, and, yeah, you know, with the, you know, and stuff like this. You know, his patches came in with the jewelry and stuff. Yeah, but that's the way I buy shit. I try to buy stuff. Are these all the these all Girl Scout patches. I think it's Girl Scouts camping and stuff. You know. Yeah. What do you ask on the patches? I got to get five bucks for all of them. I'll do the whole pack for five. Whole pack for five yep. bucks. And that's a hell of a deal, you know. Yeah. Especially like embroidery stuff like that. Look at that thing. Yeah. Yeah. Why not? I'll give you five bucks for it. Okay, cool. I got a bag for you, brother. A little tiny zip lock. All right, you're gonna get my ten dollar bill back. Oh Jesus! <laughs> I gotta give you a five now. They're gonna give me a five. I'm Until I buy more stuff, stuff and then we we'll end up, we'll end up. I didn't give you a five change, huh? No, I gave. I give a. Uh, oh, actually, no, you did give me five. Okay. All right. So you're back with, back with your ten. Stuck with the damn ten I'm again. Find that bag. <laughs> I got a bag. Oh, those poor VHS. You don't know. Well, I got some good ones in here. Batman. Too bad nothing sealed. There's nothing else I would buy in here. Who? Actually. Jesus. Some of this stuff is gross. Uh, um, the jacket's yours? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, what are you, are you catching the Detroit with the signature? Yeah, I saw the Detroit one. Yeah. I saw some of the other ones. What do you ask on the jackets? This jacket here I was asking $20 on. He's on here, Rivera, right there. Bro. Ron Rivera, when he was the coach there. And here's the quarterback here. There's a few signatures on the front. I don't know all the guys. Yeah. What did I see? Oh, maybe on the shoulder? I thought I seen it. Yeah, up on here, there's one. Yeah. I can't really tell who it is. This guy, he just re-signed for a year. Yeah. And I was asking 20 on that. I do both of these for $30. And then yeah, these two. Or these two for $30. And this is a Red Sox World Series 07. Yeah. It's got some spots, bro. Yeah, Will yeah. it clean? I don't know. I get the shit in, man. Yeah. What is this? It's like a little rain jacket. Everybody looks at it. Nobody buys it. 10 bucks. Huh. And it looks like a Loren, don't it? Like, or yeah, not. it has a big stain in there, that's oh, why. That's why? Oh, okay. Oh, that's yeah, it's probably... a blood stain. It's yeah, a blood stain. <laughs> blood stain? That looks like blood. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Someone got shot and stabbed in the neck. All right. Jesus, good Lord.
This was a truly overwhelming sight to see. All these toys were put in bags. Each bag was $5 a bag, or you can get five bags for 20 bucks. And it looks like what they do is they just find new toys, they put them in bags, and they stack them on top of each other. I mean, these stacks were four, five, six rows deep. And uh, what they end up doing then is they just put a big tarp over those tables. So these bags sit out all year long. So you gotta be very careful on what you buy to make sure it's not gross or moldy, or make sure it is something that is worth buying. Yeah, there are a lot of bags. Christmas. I don't even know where to begin. Ma'am, is this your stuff? Um, yes, I'm watching it, yep. Um, do you know, is this new? It's factory sealed, yes. It's factory sealed. You yep. have $6.95 for it? How much? $75. Let me call the toy man. Okay. It's actually his stuff, but... Gotcha. Hi, your Disney um, Lego Mickey Mouse that you have 100 on it, do you want to take 75 all right, all right, bye. He said yes. Do you mind if I just open it? I just want to double check, make sure it's sealed. Yes, yes. Factory sealed. Yeah, I'll give 75 bucks for that. Okay, great. Should you change for 100? Oh, uh, yes. Does he have any other, other ones? Just these up here. I mean, he's got some, I think he had some loose Legos over there, but as okay. far as the, uh, better skill yeah. right, these are mine so i don't have to call anybody oh, okay so if you want to gotcha. negotiate on anything you got any video game stuff at all no okay so i just saw the all the books are these all empty um okay. they got DVD, uh, cds in them i think cds and we're just selling it um for the case and you get whatever's inside
How much are the Dr. Seuss books? Um, two dollars a piece. Did you make a deal for the whole box? Okay, let's see how many have. I think there's, a, I counted maybe like, I started counting like 50. There's probably about around, roughly about maybe a little over 50, I think. 60. There's 60, okay. 120. I could do 105. 105. I'll think about it for a little bit. All the DVDs four for a dollar? Yes, they are. Even the box sets? Yep. And they're not scratched or anything. It's just a personally duplicates and triplicates. It doesn't have a big blowout January sale on them. So gotcha. it's marked by sale on them. And if you bring it and bring out such stuff every week, so it's not like it's been picked over for the whole week. What's the sign that says an auction? They have an auction every other Sunday. They have it last Sunday, so... Oh, so it's not today? No, it's not today. It is in every other Sunday. Anytime I can find brand new DVDs, especially horror movies, for 25 cents, I always pick them up and just put them in a big lot and sell them on eBay. Can okay, I cash out with you? Yep. And uh, do you have any Choose Your Own Adventure books? Any what? Choose Your Own Adventure? No. Doesn't sound familiar. <laughs> yeah, like, those books where you can just say, go this path or go this oh, path. And I go know to, what you're saying. Yeah, yeah they, I don't think so. No. Okay. Uh, I think there's 18, if I counted correctly. DVDs. Double check it. Thank you. Hey, thank you. Thank you. All right, so we just got back from that flea market, and let me know in the comments how crazy was that toy graveyard that we found? I mean, there's toys and toys and toys stacked on top of toys. But let's show you guys what we actually picked up and go through the value of everything here. All right, so we did pick up this Thrillers DVD box set. I paid a buck for it. Um, I think it's gonna be a slower seller, but I think it is a collector edition with leather bind, and I think we can get it probably about a buck about 10 to 15 bucks for it. We did pick up these Care Bear books, paid a buck a piece for them. Um, if we lock these up, I think we can probably get about 30 bucks for them. So I think we got nine or 10 here. So it should be, these are from 1981. It should be a quick turnaround on those. So I love to buy vintage books, especially in big lots like this and just quick flip them. All right, so this guy we met at the flea market, he was a nut. He told me that someone had a blood scene on the jacket. looks like it stabbed in the neck. And uh, I didn't know what to think about at that time. The cool thing is though, that guy gives us some really good deals and stuff. So let's go through some of them. So he had all these Girl Scout pow patches. Um, I got this entire thing of patches for five bucks. So we will lock this up. I'm assuming we'll probably get 25, 20 bucks, 20, 30 bucks for all these patches. Probably close to 20 bucks for everything. So quick flip. He also sold me a couple cards from the movie Sandlot. Uh, those tops cards can go over about 10 bucks a piece. I paid a buck each. So I'm assuming we'll get 20 or 30 bucks for those three cards. Here's the, here's the best thing we found probably all day long at this flea market. A stack of actual old photos. These are 10 photos from, I'm assuming these are from the 1800s. I mean, you can see here, 10 photos. Some of them might be a little hard to see, but I mean with the baby. And then all these, these are actually from New York. Syracuse area. These are the old cards from back in the day. But the portrait cards of the families here. These can bring really good money. So it's based on the actual content of the photos. But we're gonna actually put these up for sale. Uh, I may start these off at an auction each. 
probably maybe like 10 bucks each and just let it run and see what happens. But I mean, these are actually really cool. I love this one, the one with the dog in here. But I mean, we paid five bucks for all these. I mean, this is an absolute steal. I'm assuming we should get at least a hundred bucks. Maybe for all these, we will wait and see. But here's another cool one. I mean, you can tell this family had money just based off how the photos are done. This is something that not everyone could afford back then. So tell by the way they're dressed and by the, this is from Syracuse, New York. So keep an eye out for old vintage photos. They can do really, really well, especially based off the content or their location where they're from. All right, and then the then we brought us to the toy graveyard. That toy graveyard was absolutely insane. I couldn't believe how many bags of toys they had there and, and the prices on stuff. Um, the only thing is, is it looks like they're left out and they just put a tarp over them. So some of those toys have probably been sitting there for a long time. So you gotta be real picky and be careful what you buy. We did find this right here, this Mickey Mouse Disney box set. This is actually brand new in the box. It's a Lego box set. They had a hundred bucks on it. We offered them 80 and they did take it. I think we can get probably about 150 for this if we sit on it for a little bit. But yeah, 140, 150 we should get. So after fees, we'll probably make about a $50 profit on that. So can't complain. And then she had a big blowout on DVDs. I mean, box sets for a quarter each. Brand new Seinfeld box sets for a quarter. This is brand new, that's brand new. Um, all these movies, some horror movies here. Cloverfield, Blood again, Raid. So anytime I can find DVDs brand new for a quarter, I'm gonna pick them up and just lot them up and sell them. Some more brand new seasons, season five and season six. And then here's some more seasons over here. So less than five bucks for all those DVDs. So we should do really well. But overall, man, the flea market was a cool experience. I've never been to that flea market before. Please make sure you guys smash that like button, subscribe to the channel. Please check out this other video of us hitting up some places to get some great deals. Until next time, 